One of the few lectionary texts from the story of Joseph, maybe the only one, is the chapter 50, where the brothers uh, and Joseph come together for a final time, and uh, the brothers uh, confess their sin, evil, that they have engaged in, and uh, Joseph uh, responds in ways that are not uh, vengeful uh, and not dismissive, but uh, moves uh, to make a claim as to how God has been at work in and through their very evil to bring about good uh, future for this, this family. And then the story ends with, and Joseph blessed the little ones. Uh, but that key sentence along the way, God, you meant it for evil, but God meant it for good. What exactly that entails? That doesn't mean somehow that uh, the brothers did not actually commit evil actions. Of course they did. But what it entails is that God uses those very evil actions and brings good out of those. So in the text itself, actually, God is the subject of key verbs. So God brought you down to Egypt. God uh, has, uh, has enabled you to rise to power in Pharaoh's court and so forth. But it's not that God is the sole subject here. But it is the fact that God has taken what human beings have done and has used them, transformed them in ways that bring about good for this family and the larger community.